This is Allison and I'm here with the Baby Lock Altair. The Altair is a combination sewing and embroidery machine that has some really fantastic features all bundled together. This is only one step below Baby Lock's top of the line sewing and embroidery machine, the Solaris 2, and the embroidery features are exactly the same on that of the Baby Lock Meridian. So, it has some of the most easy to use features in both the sewing and embroidery sides of the machine. So we're gonna talk about both of those things today, but we're gonna start off with embroidery. And with embroidery, we're gonna talk about the editing features, placement features, and a little bit about the IQ designer, and then we'll start talking about sewing. So on the embroidery side of the Altair, it has a nine and a half by 14 embroidery field, and it comes with a hoop of that same size. And it also comes with a five by seven hoop. It has 494 different built-in stitches and 30 different built-in fonts, but you can always bring in your own designs and fonts here with the two USB ports built into the machine. So let's take a look at some of these features here. Now I'm gonna pick a design that's built in and we're gonna take a look at how we can edit it. We'll grab these mountains here. So the really exciting thing about the Altair is I can edit these patterns quite a bit without having to take them to a separate software or computer to do the editing. So for instance, if I wanna change the size of this design, I can increase the size by 200% and it's gonna recalculate my stitches for me. I could also decrease the size by 60% and again, it will decrease, it will recalculate my stitches. I can move my design anywhere I need to on the screen using the movement tool or I can move the design around the screen with my finger. Now, wherever I move my design on my screen is where it's gonna stitch out my hoop. And with the built-in 10.1 full color LCD touchscreen, I have a lot of information here about what I'm doing with my design and what's happening. I have the height and the width of the design itself. It's gonna show me where I am in the hoop. And then depending on where I move my design, it's gonna tell me which hoop I need to use in order for my design to stitch out in that place. I can rotate the design by 90 degrees, 10 degrees, one degree or a tenth of a degree, and then reset it with the touch of a button. We can copy and paste, mirror image, and then I can delete these off as needed. I can put a satin stitch around it if I'd like to create a patch. And I can change the color very easily. So if I'm not too sure about the color that is built in, I can take a look and see what I think, and if I want to use the green, I'll use the green. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of text. We can add in as many designs as will fit on the embroidery in the embroidery hoop with this machine. So let's take a look at some of the text that we can work with. And I'm going to put in here um, just a few words, Smith Family Vacation. And with the size of the screen, I can see my whole alphabet here, and it's very easily accessible, very easy to, con um, to move around. I've got my numbers, punctuation. I'm gonna set that, and then I'm gonna add one more line. All right, so now that I have all of this set, we can go back and edit it as much as we want. So when you put your font and your text onto your screen, you can still go back and edit things. So let's take a look at what we can do with the fonts. I can resize these, but I'm gonna wait on that just a little bit. I can also array each line of text and then move it because I've got these little movement arrows here. And I can change the size, the curve of that arc as I choose, as I need to customize. We can also increase or decrease the spacing between the letters and the whole line. And if I decide that I'm not really thrilled with the original font that I chose, I can choose another one. And it'll tell me if it won't quite fit. So now I am gonna resize this. I'm gonna take it down to a medium font, 
But the great thing is I can either work with the entire line of text or I can just choose to work with one letter individually. So I want to make the capital letters be a little bit bigger in each of these words so that they'll stand out a little bit more. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the second line of text. Change it down to medium and then make that V pop. Now, now that we have a design put together, we need to see exactly how easy it is to place this where we want to stitch it. Typically with embroidery, one of the most difficult things is making sure that you have your design placed in the correct place and it's going to stitch out at the correct angle and in the right spot. But with the Altair, we don't have to worry about that at all. So with this being a step down from the Solaris 2, which has a built-in camera, we have the next best thing built in with the Altair. The Altair will work with an app that BabyLock has created to take a picture of what's in our hoop and send it to the machine. That way we can move and size the design as needed so it's going to stitch in the correct place. So now I'm going to set my hoop down on a flat surface and get the app. And all I need to do is hold the phone it's over the hoop and it's going to let me know where to hold it and how long to hold it so that it gets an accurate picture. And then it asks if I'd like to send it to the machine. I'm going to put my hoop in and we can see that the machine has received the image. And now I can see exactly what's in my hoop. So now I can make the necessary adjustments so that this is gonna stitch out in the correct place. So I'm gonna decrease the size of this by a pretty good amount. And then move this up so it fits really nicely. And from here, I can use my grouping tool to, change, to move both lines of text together. So I don't have to do it individually. Now I can move it down and over. So now that we've talked about the embroidery editing features and the placement features, let's take a look at the IQ Designer. The IQ Designer is the digitizing software that's built into the BabyLock Altair. And what it is, is kind of a lighter version of some of the higher end software that you're gonna see available. So there, BabyLock makes what we call palette. And the best way that I can describe the difference between palette and the IQ Designer, it's like thinking about photo editing software. So typically when people think of photo editing software, they think about Adobe Photoshop. Well, that's gonna be more like Palette 11 software, where you're gonna have as many resources available to you as possible. You're gonna be able to change the most minute of details with the digitizing software. However, what is built into the Altair, the Meridian, and the Solaris is more like Microsoft Paint, that old paint program that we have on every computer, every Microsoft computer ever made. Um, now, we can do photo editing in paint. We can also create our own designs and be very creative with that software, but it's a little bit more limited. We don't have quite the same number of options. So with this, we're just gonna to touch on the basics of what the IQ Designer will allow you to do, but there are so many options. You can be extremely creative and make so many great projects with the IQ Designer. So let's take a look at the foundation of what it will do. Now with the IQ Designer, I can bring in portraits or different designs, different ideas to begin working with, or I can create my own from the built-in tools. So here I'm gonna choose a shape and work with that. Now with this, what I can do is I can change the way that the shape will stitch out, the type of stitch that it will have, and I can also change what type of fill will be either inside or outside of that shape. 
So for now, let's start with the line. The line that's going around this flower, we can choose which type of stitch we want it to be. Right now it's set on a satin stitch, but I want to change it to a candle wicking stitch. And I'm going to change the color. And so now that it's changed the color, I know that it's going to take that candle wicking stitch and that's what I've set it to. Now inside my flower, I can change the type of fill that we have. Right now, if I put this in here, it would just be a solid fill stitch. We've got a stipple and then a few other designs to choose from. We're going to work with the bricks right now and I'm going to put those inside my flower. All right, so we have two of the basic things done with this program. And now when I move over, I'm gonna be able to take a look at exactly what it's gonna look like when it stitches out. So I've got my pink candle wicking stitches and my blue bricks. But when I go back to the screen, I can edit all of those things. So right now I'm working with the bricks and I'm gonna increase the size of these to about 140%. And then I can also change the direction of the brick. So if I don't want them to be going horizontally and I want them to be at a little bit of an angle, not a problem. I'm gonna change those to be at about 45 degrees. So let's see what it looks like. So now you can see that I've offset the bricks and they're a little bit bigger. Now I wanna go back and change my candle wicking stitch. I'm going to increase the size and I'm also going to increase the spacing. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So you can see I've created quite a bit more space and made that candle wicking stitch a lot bigger. Now I can save this to the machine and come back and edit it and work with it some more or I can take it directly to the editing screen for embroidery and add even more designs to it that are built into the machine or that I've brought in myself. So I'm going to save this to the machine and then I'm going to set it to the embroidery edit screen. Now let's say that I want to put someone's first initial in here. We can add it just like we did with our original embroidery edits. And so I'm going to increase the size of that letter. There we go, and we're ready to stitch.